Morning guys. Sorry if you can't see me right well. Uh, it's the only place I could stamp phone without it falling off a light. Uh, just off that on a quick mooch. I've done to my farm permission. Uh, put some snares out last night. So uh, we'll check them while we're there and that. Off that, I didn't I did say in my last video oh, wait, we're going down with Catty Hawk on our rope, but might as well, Anna, because there's always still a chance that there's someone there, even if it is a slim chance like, but uh, I'm on my way there now. I've been there in about 10 minutes, like, not too far from my house, so that's an advantage. But, uh, you know what I mean? Big problem with rabbits and pigeons at the minute. Pigeons on crops and uh, on seed and that, and in uh, barn where all cattle feed is. And then obviously he's got problems with rabbits digging holes in horse paddocks which isn't ideal his daughter rides horses like I don't want rabbits there obviously because all it takes is for an horse to put his foot down and all and it's got a broken leg then and then that horse is pretty much useless then for show jumping but yeah like I said uh, just on the way down to permission so uh, I'll give you a bell when I get down there have a walk about and that see if we can find out I uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave a comment, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll get back to you. Cheers. Pulled up onto my permission now. Um, I was pulled up to edge where I've set all my snares and that. Set my snares all the way down this edge that runs down the side of the track onto the farm. Um, I'll just show you one of my snares that I've set and uh, what it wants to look like. There's no in it like so. There we go. Really typical rabbit run coming through like a funnel front field. I've got my wire noose there. It wants to be about a fist, a fist width and about an hand width off the floor. And that goes to my wire tealer. A tealer for you, who, for you people who don't know. is a bit of wire that holds your noose in place. And that's attached to a bit of paracord that then goes to my stake in the ground. So I'm going to have a walk down the rest of this edge. Check all my other snares and that. And uh, I'll get back to you if I get out. Just got an headshot on a wood pigeon. There we go, look. Straight in the head. No messing about. So I've just been walking down the path here. Managed to get a shot on a rabbit. Nice headshot. So uh, what you want to do with rabbits is you want to make sure you drain your urine out. But uh, that went goblet. Shoot with 9.5 mil steel. Nice one. Well, that's where it hit it, right at the side of the head. Get it in the bag. Get it skinned and gotten lighter. On this rabbit, steel dropped in just behind here. shot this pigeon myself this morning uh, and so I'm going to cook it up a bit of onion garlic some tomatoes um, I'm going to season it in salt and pepper I like to put a bit of chilli sauce on myself um, put your pan on a really high heat put some oil in the pan and you want to sear it on one side for one minute flip it sear it on the other side for another minute and then baste it with butter you want to serve your pigeon rare or pink if you overcook your pigeon it starts to taste like liver and you don't want that because I'm not too keen on living my scent like. Cook it right, tastes like a really nice steak. So yeah, we'll get to it. So first thing you want to do, get your pan hot. Drop a bit of oil in there as well. There we go. All you like to get really hot. Good way to test to see if it's hot, get a little splash of water on your hand, drop it in the pan, and if the water starts crackling and spitting, you know it's hot enough. So I've seasoned my pigeon, a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of chilli sauce. Test on it now, see if it's hot enough. You can hear that crackle, but that pan is hot. So what we're going to do, place this pigeon in. Now 
I'm gonna leave that for a minute each side. So I'm gonna flip it over now. A minute on the other side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my onions and my garlic. Of butter. And what you want to do, once your butter's melted and gone the golden brown colour, you have to start basting your pigeon. You don't want to overcook pigeon, otherwise it ends up tasting like liver. Put it nice and pink inside. I'm going to remove it from the pan. Put stick it on the plate. I'm going to wrap it up in some tin foil to rest. So I'm going to put it in a little parcel of tin foil. I'm gonna stick our onions and garlic in with it as well to keep that flavouring. Wrap it up. While that's doing that, I'm just gonna grill off these tomatoes. So I'm just gonna unwrap this pigeon. Been uh, resting for a few minutes. Get it out onto his plate. Ow, that's hot. Mm. I want to cut into that. Like I said, you want pigeon to be cooked slightly pink in the middle. Otherwise it starts to taste like liver. And there we have it. Just some really simple pan fried pigeon and some caramelised onion and garlic and some little cherry tomatoes. I will be putting a bit more chilli sauce on this because I do like spicy food. But that's how you want your pigeon to look, just slightly pink. Nice one. So I'm going to enjoy this. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Cheers for watching. Thanks.